The creepy psychology behind sleep paralysis. You wake up in the middle of the night. Your eyes are open, but you can't move. You try to scream, nothing. And then you feel it, a presence in the room, a shadow at the edge of the bed. This is sleep paralysis, and it's far stranger than a bad dream. Here's what's really happening. When we fall asleep, the brain shuts off our muscles so we don't act out our dreams. But sometimes we wake up before the paralysis ends. We're fully conscious, but our body is still locked. In that half-waking state, the mind fills the silence with terrifying illusions, dark shapes, footsteps, a crushing weight on the chest. For centuries, people believed it was demons, ghosts, even alien abductions. Modern science calls it a glitch in REM, sleep, a brief overlap between dreaming and waking. Yet even with an explanation, the fear feels real. Your heart races, your senses scream danger. Your brain, desperate to understand, creates a story out of shadows. The creepy part, it can happen to anyone. Stress, irregular sleep, and certain positions make it more likely. And once you've experienced it, you never forget the terror of being awake and completely powerless. So next time you wake up and can't move, remember, you're not haunted. You're caught between two worlds, a mind awake and a body still dreaming. Subscribe for more strange stories where psychology and the unknown collide.